Oh my gosh, I'm doing a haul video. This could be really bad. <laughs> Hello, welcome back to Steph Sean's Stuff. Hey guys, in case you haven't noticed, I went to England for New Year's. It was great. I went there to see family. We had an awesome time. But I also acted super touristy, which is a thing. But by the end of it, I was a complete English man. Englander. I don't know. Oh well. You want to see my trip on London? Subscribe to No Way But No I don't know if that came out good. It might have just... Sounded like a crackly throat. I don't know, don't judge me. I went to Harry Potter's film studios. I went like literally almost everywhere touristy. And I picked up some cool things. This is just a general wrap up of what I picked up in England. As for why I'm wearing a Ravenclaw scarf, it's foreshadowing for later. <laughs> Let's start this haul. I have this haul set up into sections. Normal touristy stuff that you could pretty much find anywhere in England, specifically London. And then it goes to the nerdy stuff. And then it goes to a very special end section. Let's start. So if you guys have seen my my vlog channel, No Way But No Way, yes, I'm self-promoting myself, I nailed it. You know that I found something I love, my winter hat, and yes, I'm probably gonna be wearing this for the rest of the video, because I loved it so much, I've been looking for one for so long, there were just so many that you could pick up in England that weren't really that expensive. And it's cool, because it came in like a winter pattern design, and nice and fluffy, and it comes with like everything, look how freaking amazing it is, it looks so normal, except not. <laughs> Let's show you something that you probably know something about. England, the Royal Guards. Oh my god, it's so fluffy, I'm gonna die. It's a nice little thing. You can pick this up almost anywhere. The place I got it was from the London Eye. You know the giant Ferris wheel in London? They call it the London Eye. And it looks just so cute. And look, it's got like a little English flag. UK flag. Sorry, it's the UK flag on it. The English flag is just a white flag with a red cross on it. I learned that. Knowledge on your face. Pew. That was awkward. Speaking of bears, one of the most popular bears to come from England, and specifically a train station that turned into a children's book, <gasps> Paddington Bear! So basically, Paddington Bear, it's nice, cute, you can get him in a variety of sizes, and because a new movie came out, you can pretty much pick up a Paddington Bear almost in any shop. For me, I decided to go all out and get it from the original sword. I went to Paddington Station, you can probably see the scene, I interviewed Paddington Bear, it was amazing, and I picked this guy up, laughing. We're, we're totally like the bestest of friends, there's like no topping it. You know how I said this was gonna be a hint for what was gonna come later on? I love scarves, so I picked up some scarves, probably saw a little bit of it, but this is mainly a gift for my little brother, Eric. He loves football, soccer, I'm sorry, I don't know, I'm like in conflicting words right now. And one of his favorite teams is FC Barcelona, I'm sorry, I just had to look at the scarf for a second. Okay, you know, I just gave it away. It's your scarf for SC Barcelona, because Eric doesn't have a scarf, and it's freaking amazing. It's nice, you can pretty much pick this up in almost any tourist store, even like some stands outside. And it's really nice, it's soft, and has like the nice little fluffy things at the end. Yes, Eric, it's amazing. Do I rock as a brother? Yes. Oh, right, that's the England flag. Knowledge. If you noticed in my vlogs, I stopped in Oxford for a day, you'd be right. So, I knew I had to pick up something from my prestigious school, so you know what I picked up? Another thing I love. I love scarves! I picked up a nice, I, I don't know what design this would be, probably flannel. I don't know, someone who's really good with fashion tell me it was. It's nice, been wanting it. And plus that nice little emblem is to the end. You see it? You see it? You love it? Yes, it's amazing. Next thing. I stopped by this nice store with a lot of cool comic books and action figures. And you know what? I had to pick something up. I saw it, I loved it, and I've been wanting to get one of these for a while. And you know what? It's a good way to start a collection. <gasps> Yes, I picked up the tracks from Guardians of the Galaxy Pop Final. It's so beautiful! And also, the cool thing on the back is you, they tell you the rest of the stuff in, like, the collection. See, so you got your Star Lords with and without mask. You got Drax, Gamora, Rocket, and Groot. And I, I want them all. It's amazing! And so, Dave Batista kicked butt in this role, and I can't wait to see him be in the second one. Ah, oh my gosh, Marvel's amazing. Speaking of Marvel, do you think that would be the one thing I'd pick up in a comic book shop? No, 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 no. Knowing how I'm Norwegian, and you know what? I should learn Norwegian folklore in a sense. This may not be the best place to learn about it, but I picked up the comic book volume for Thor, the first one, so it's gonna start at the beginning and give me a little bit of intro to Thor by Stan Lee from Marvel. All hell Marvel. So I'm excited to start reading this. If you want to pick either of these up with a shop to go in England, specifically in London, is Forbidden Planet. They have so many cool things. They have comic books, have movie stuff like that. They even have stuff that's old, like Back to the Future. They just have everything. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Hyde, for keeping me sane, kinda. You guys know me, you know how much I love YouTube, and one of my favorite YouTubers decided to write a book and I just had to pick it up because in Norway I couldn't necessarily pick it up because it's like almost impossible to find but I decided to stop by an English bookstore called Waterstone and was able to pick up finally Grace's guide I'm a huge fan of her if she's Saw this. All hail Grace Helbig. Love you. Oh, wow. I probably just looked really weird doing that. I already started reading and I love it. I'm nearly finished with it. 
And I'm, this is probably gonna be like one of the only books I probably read again just because I love it so much. It's strangely helpful. <laughs> no, it's not strangely helpful. Of course it's helpful. It informs you with knowledge in your face, brain, spot. Grace, thank you for writing your cool, amazing book. Really sad I couldn't be there on your London tour, but you know school, you know college, life of college kid. You gotta get back to your studies. Love it! This is something I recommend for people to pick up. It's nice, it's hilarious, it's just great. If you wanna pick this up, hop into a bookstore hopefully near you. The place I got it from was Waterstone. Going back to shouting out my vlog channel, yes, I do that, self-promotion. If you guys notice, I went to Harry Potter Film Studios, but also Platform 9 and 3 quarters at King's Cross. It is awesome. I did a lot of Harry Potter stuff because fan, fan, fan. Plus my family loves Harry Potter, so it was like the perfect excuse to buy stuff for them. And, and for me. We're gonna shift over to the fantastic Harry Potter stuff, starting with Platform 9 and 3 quarters at King's Cross. Granted, when I was at King's Cross at Platform 9 and 3 quarters, I found some things I couldn't find at the film studios later. Picked up some things, completely glad I did. Of course, you need a ticket to get on the Hogwarts Express, so what better ticket to get in your one-way ticket to Hogwarts? Look at it, look at it. It's from Platform 9 and 3 quarters. I got my ticket, I'm going to Hogwarts. Granted, I'm probably too old, but that doesn't matter. I'll go as a student teacher. Granted, there's a lot of life threatening danger, but that's besides the point. That's a win for me, but just looks so nice. It has like that nice little gold tint. I mean, seriously. Being in England, I decided I needed to get a proper teacup. You had to pick up something memorable. So you got your nice platform nine and three quarters thing from platform nine and three quarters job. And the coolest thing was it actually came with a spoon right here. So you can nicely mix your goodies in it with your tea or coffee, which it won't really be coffee. For me, it would be Hot chocolate topped with marshmallows topped with chocolate sauce topped with whipped cream topped with marshmallows topped with chocolate sauce. And like a nice cinnamon to boot. Yes, I know how to make hot chocolate. Son. I like it. And this is how it looks when the spoon is in the handle. So now we move on to the Harry Potter Film Studio store. There's a vlog for that. It was great. Get to see a lot of stuff. It's honestly amazing being a fan of the movies and books. It was just amazing to see it come to life and how it was done for the big screen. <sighs> Let's go see the stuff. Magic. Phew. When you arrive to Harry Potter Film Studios, you have to pick up your tickets. And the best part about the tickets, besides actually getting into the film studios, is the fact each ticket has a different design on it. And it's amazing. As you can tell, one, this one is Fox the Phoenix, Dumbledore's Phoenix, and Dobby, Dobby. It's cool. There were like a lot of other designs. I forgot what else. I think Hedwig was on one of them. But I mean, seriously, look at it. It's just plain amazing. Plus, it's like collectible, so you can go back several times, and they're gonna be like trading cards, probably. You gotta get them all. Kind of like Pokemon, in a sense. You know me, I just gotta throw every piece of nerdy thing in there. Phew. If you're a kid, or if you're like me, and you somehow convince them to do this for you, you get a passport for the film studios. This is mainly for the kids. And on the inside, and spread out through the entire thing, they have little stamp set up. Throughout the tour, they're gonna have like little stamping stations. You press it like the Undertaker. <laughs> Stamped. Let me show you some of the stamp designs and then later the impressments. I think that's what you call them. I don't know. The stamp designs would happen to follow the Gryffindor crest right here. The Quidditch snitch. The golden snitch. The dark mark. The Ministry of Magic mark. Ooh, Gringotts bank mark. And finally, the Hogwarts crest with all the houses on it. And lucky for me, if you stop by during the winter months, you should be able to see a rare side to have it set up so it looks like Hogwarts in the snow. Granted, that's what the button says. If you're at the studio tours during the winter time, you should be able to get this button for free. And at the end of it, you should be able to see this actual thing they use for Hogwarts in winter like condition and it's like it looks really nice look at it BAM it's amazing since my family happens to be really big Harry Potter fans I decided to pick up some stuff for them as well for me there's so many things in the basket ow I hit myself that was not good let's begin with the rest of the Harry Potter stuff you know I love my scarves and I'm I'm sorry I have to tell you this I'm not really a Ravenclaw Pottermore all hail Pottermore it says so I'm a Gryffindor tried and true that's the only thing I can do so I have to abandon this scarf <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> New Gryffindor scar. Nice and soft and the stuff at the end. It's a little thinner, I think. I think the universal ones, but still nice. See? Don't I look snazzy all dressed up in my proper attire? And you know what? I just had to make myself look even more like Harry Potter. So I had to pick up a wand. Boy, I mean, what better wand to get at the studios than his main character? Harry Potter. <laughs> Opening. <laughs> Oh, was it Stefan? This is a nice replica of the Harry Potter ones. So it's like, hey, 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 hey. I feel like I could be like the best conductor in this. One, two, three, four. Pew. Okay, sorry, Jimmy. Sorry. Was this the best place to pick up the Harry Potter wand? Ah. Uh. It's like in nice condition. Comes in a nice box to store, and it's just super nice. And now it's just amazing. I love it. And I think that makes a grand total of three wands for me. One from an unnamed person I don't know. One from Victor Crump, because that's the closest thing I'm gonna get to a Norwegian wizard until someone proves me wrong. He's either Hungarian or Norwegian, so I'm crossing my fingers for Norwegian. If you prove me wrong, I'll be sad. But please correct me if I'm not getting my, my proper Harry Potter knowledge. Another tradition I seem to be picking up is. 
chocolate frogs, the best freaking candy. Shut up, you got your nice old fashioned chocolate frog. Unfortunately, it hopped away. Just kidding, I ate all of it. I have really bad self-control when it comes to sweets. The good thing about the chocolate frog is that it's solid, so it's about yay big, and it's just like the shape of a frog, and it's just solid chocolate. Granted, you can't like necessarily like bite through it entirely, but it's just amazing, it tastes great, and just like the books and the movies, they come with their own individual trading cards. And of course, I just got lucky enough to get Dumbledore. Look at him, he turns and looks at you with- And the good thing is, he doesn't go away. He will stay with me forever. You're never gonna leave me, Dumbledore. Chocolate trading card. Great deal. So I never really had any Christmas decorations of my own, so I figured what better place to get some than from one of my favorite places that has one of my favorite books and movies. So I decided to pick up some Christmas decorations. My gosh. Look at this tissue paper though. How much tissue paper did you use? How many trees died for this? I don't know. I saw these and I said, you know what? I gotta get them. So basically, I picked up a Ravenclaw. It's like the crest and it has a name under it. Nice little ribbon. It's like perfect for a Christmas tree. I was in a frenzy in the shop. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So I just had to pick up all the other ones. So let me show you them to you. We got Slytherin with a nice green ribbon. Hufflepuff, I mean, look at this. And it comes with its ribbon. Don't drop. And then finally, of course, my house. Gryffindor. Look at it. Lovely. Seriously, my Christmas tree is gonna have so much swag. Granted, Christmas is over, but hey, I'm taking a jump start for next year. My family members, they put in special requests, so I figured I might as well do the best I can. One of them said they wanted like a clever Harry Potter magnet, and I couldn't really find any clever sayings. So the best thing I could come up with was the scene from the first movie with the when they're first approaching Hogwarts. I hope this. No oh, dang. Next thing, the socks of the house is bam. Look at their crest, look at their amazingness. Though they only come in one size, but you do get all four houses, two socks each. Nice stitch work, and you get the design of each house. The only downside is that it's only in one size. Hopefully it fits my cousin who's gonna get this for you. If not, magic. The last thing of this haul that I'm gonna bust out will be, hold on, I have to read this. The official guide of the behind the scenes studio tour. Got your tour, but you also got the books that come with it, which will tell you everything that's part of the tour. It just looks nice, the drawings are nice, they give you really good quality pictures. Look at it, it's just amazing. Get your nice designs, and it gives you behind the scenes stuff. And of course, we picked up two, one for my cousin, one for me. <sighs> now I can get the behind the scenes memory forever. Anyway, that covers up the end of the video. I don't know how this turned out. Please tell me how you think this turned out in the comment section down below. I'll do something nice for you guys. I'll have a links down below for any websites I can find that may have any of these things. Granted, I can't find all the websites, but for the ones I could, they're down below. I did, you was solid. Besides that, social media goodness is down there. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe, and I hope you guys have a great day. I would say Steph Sean signing out, but I'm gonna have to bust out some amazing magic. You're gonna see it, it's gonna be amazing. So if I can do this, I'm a wizard, okay? Watch this, I'm nervous. Wingardium Leviosa. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I'm so good at magic. So anyway, guys, Steph Sean signing out. Closer to me.